where you acknowledge that trans people are people. What? Are you telling me that trans folks are people too? Who would have thought? And thus deserve basic human respects. Congratulations. Woo! Is there a party for my exception of accepting something that a lot of people already accept? Now you're ready to learn how you can better support trans people as a marginalized community. Are you really the best candidate to educate me? Because as far as I'm aware, you're not really trans, you're just pretending to be a boy, so yeah, there's that. Most of these tips could apply to supporting any marginalized community, but this video specifically addresses how to be a better ally to trans people. First of all, being an ally is an uncomfortable position. Way to go to boost someone's self-esteem! Be uncomfortable! That's something Satan would say when he greets his newest cellmates. Greetings! I am the devil! Get seated and become uncomfortable! We need to discuss a few minor things before we can begin your unpleasant stay in hell! Are you uncomfortable yet? Hmm? God damn! Play some fucking trigger warnings before you get so goddamn close! <laughs> How about now? You, you uncomfortable yet? You uncomfortable? You uncomfortable? Jesus! Yes, you've made your point! You're a fucking freak! Can we move on now? In order to benefit the trans community, you must be active in your support. This means standing up for trans rights whenever it's safe for you to do so. I agree that people need to take a stand if someone's rights are violated because it would not be fair for them to be treated as unfairly. But some trans folks are capable of defending themselves. And always deconstructing your learned biases. That sounds almost dangerously close as you must unlearn something. All cisgender people are transphobic. What? All cisgender people are transphobic. This is bullshit. You're literally labeling everyone who is cisgender to be transphobic. How in the world is all cisgender folks of every race is transphobic? Now granted there are countries that are heavily against homosexuality and transgenderism such as India and places where people who support Islam, but to state that every cisgender person is transphobic is not only arrogant but also very cisphobic. I know it's not a real word, but Something tells me it should be. Just as all men hold misogynistic views, and all white people are racist. So, let me get this out of the way. You're racist towards white folks, you're sexist towards men, and you're cisphobic. You are one of the most hateful individuals I have ever met. You should be locked up in jail. Once again, you're labeling everyone in that group to be racist, sexist, transphobic, etc. What's next? If you're Christian, you're automatically a homophobe by default? Jesus Christ, there's a reason why I left religion. But now it seems that we're all going to need God to fix people like yourself. I've known that I'm trans for five years. You are not trans. You just put on a shirt and give one of the worst haircuts in history and be like, Hey everyone, I'm a trans person. I'm not taking any testosterone though, cause, you know, gender is stupid. <laughs> I have transgenders along with gay and bisexual folks watching my videos. And the ones who are trans, like Persephone66, tells me they're offended by things that you do. You reduce gender to a mere piece of clothing. It's people like yourself who get transgenders a bad name. You are not trans. Get over it. And I still sometimes struggle with internalized transphobia. Thoughts that maybe I am a freak. And what if cis gay people never find me attractive? It's kind of hard to find you attractive when you make yourself this weird hybrid of male and female. First of all, we don't even know what your sexual orientation is. Are you into chicks or dudes? Second of all, you're a fucking freak! If a gay man looks at you, chances are he would be confused, but would then would he be really gay? 
The fact of the matter is, is that you're not even trying to be a man. You're not adding testosterone to your body or getting surgery. So chances are, you're just using your identity to feel special. If I've not been able to overcome my internalized transphobia in the 17 years that I've been living as a trans person. Getting a haircut does not make you trans. You are not trans. Grow the fuck up. Then I'm pretty sure you probably have some transphobic biases as well. You just marginalize an entire group of people, and now you're saying, well, I feel at times that I'm being transphobic. That must mean that everyone who's not trans might be transphobic. <laughs> now, granted, at one point, very early in my life, I admit, I had some mixed feelings for trans folks. But at the time, I was very, very young. I educated myself and learned that transgender are still... People who are, you know, just regular people. So it's safe to say that I'm not transphobic. I even have a few transgender fans. But let me guess. I must be a transgender fool because I'm cisgender. Bleh. If you tell me that as a cisgender person, you are not transphobic, you are telling me not to trust you. What? By telling me that you are not transphobic, you're telling me that you are unaware or choose to live in the dark about the way that we are socialized in a Western society. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. First of all, they're not doing that. If they're saying they're not transphobic, chances are they understand what's going on. But no, you must force them to put this label saying that these people are transphobic by default. So it's doomed if we do and doomed if we don't. Talk about impossible standards. Second of all, you're making these people feel guilt about themselves. This is fucking narcissism with a capital N. I really hope you don't have children because you're going to shame them for being cisgender. And most disturbingly, by telling me that you're not transphobic, you're telling me that you think you know everything there is to know about being trans. Yet you get to speak on behalf of other groups that have no relation with you whatsoever. Go fuck yourself. We are only halfway through and I want to break my fucking laptop. And that you think your allyship cannot be improved. They're not saying that for fuck's sake. You're just putting one in people's mouths. You're also probably not going to improve your allyship until you acknowledge that you're transphobic. So again, your narcissism is off the chart. This is what you expect from people. You are cisgender white man! You're sexist, and you're racist, and you're transphobic! You... You're evil! You must... SUFFER THE CONSEQUENCES! <laughs> this is your punishment for being a cisgender white man! You are the cause of everything! Of all things transphobic! You are evil! Vile! And you must be punished! <laughs> not transphobic or racist or sexist because I don't have any hatred of any of these groups. But I do have hatred for people like yourself. But you are reducing any form of phobia to be meaningless. For fuck's sake, this is on par with the feminists and social justice warriors. I know my joke was taken from the amazing atheist, but that's what it is for her. If this is what it means to be a transgender ally, then I don't want to be one. If anything, I would rather become a goddamn conservative. Secondly, one of the most important things you can do as an ally to trans people is to listen to the voices of trans people. Now, where did I heard this argument before? And to listen to a variety of voices and not just those who agree with you. You're not going to take your own advice. I know you already. You blocked me on Twitter. And keep in mind, I never once contacted this person. 
And you want to know how I managed to find this video from a transgender woman who makes YouTube videos against feminism? Yeah, big fucking shock. Links in the description. You don't get a cookie for supporting trans people, but only your trans friends. So there's no benefits of helping. Good to know. The marginalization of the transgender community continues because transgender voices are not being heard. The transgender community is incredibly diverse and you can learn a crap ton by listening to the voices of trans people. But you don't get to speak on behalf of trans people. There will be trans folks that's gonna find you what you say offensive. What you are doing is offensive. You are not trans. You're just cross-dressing. One of the best things you can do as an ally is to learn as much as you can and take what you've learned into other communities. They should take an example from you and stay away from you as far as possible. Your voice is often given more respect since you are not a part of the community. In the words of Linda Martin, speak with the intent to, to listen, not to speak. Lastly, watch out for those microaggressions. Oh great, so you are a social justice warrior. Fucking microaggressions. Ah, man, ah. Microaggressions are soft versions of transphobia. I didn't know there was a soft version of transphobia. I just assume there's just transphobia. Where you may have no malintent, but your actions still work to further the marginalization of trans people. And that means watch out for your stereotypes and cisnormativity. You're not hip, you're not cool, and you're not ready for school. The so-called subtle transphobia is incredibly stupid. Trans people are erased by language that associates gender with a certain set of genitalia. That's what gender is. You're either male or female. There is no in-between. No, you're not gay because you like penis. You're gay because you like men. That's fucking stupid. The massive majority of gay men like penis. Hence, they like penis. Don't tell me that men have vaginas because gender is just a social construct. Because if so, so is race and even humanity itself. But you may happen to really like penis. You've been giving a lot of rape faces in your videos so far. I should call the police. Also remember that there are narratives of trans people that you have probably never heard of before. We call those groups of people like yourself FREAKS! Just because you've never heard it before doesn't mean that it's any less valid. So like digigender, for example. A gender based on machinery, such as computers and TVs. What's that? You find that ridiculous? Well, it's not any less valid than fog gender. Don't act like you're Hagrid saving some kids from their misery by telling them that they're not actually trans. You're not actually trans. You're just pretending to be a man. You specifically. At the end of the day, trans people really aren't that different from cis people. Unless you count cis people need to hate themselves for being cisgender. You know, good job with that. We don't develop some magical Google search skills where we can just answer any question immediately. And we also have our own feelings and very valid experiences with gender. I would believe that coming from someone who's actually trans. Even if you may never be able to understand our experiences, you can still humanize us in your own mind so that you can help the rest of the world. By admitting that you're transphobic by default, even though you're not. And, uh, oh, I will never humanize you. You don't deserve the title of being human. Just you, specifically. I am the atheist gamer. Peace, the game out.